What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and we are finally starting the 2021 season. We're going to start with the WTA. They have gone to Abu Dhabi for the first time ever. It's a brand new tournament in this brand new tennis schedule that we have. Of course, Australian Open is going to be played in February. This is one of the lead up tournaments. Abu Dhabi, first ever time. Let's go through the players who, who have withdrawn from this tournament so far. Okay, so we have a lot of people withdrawing from this event. We have Zhang, we have Van Udvank, we have Teague, Siniakova, Ostapenko, Kuznetsova, Garcia, Collins, and then two of the biggest names on tour, Belinda Bencic, she's pulled out, and Anisimova pulled out last minute as well. So some big names there missing from this event. So those are the players that have withdrawn. Let's go straight to the top of the draw and see who the number one seed is. So Sophia Kennan, the Australian Open champion, she is the number one seed for this event. She gets a qualifier in the first round, so they are still being played as we speak. She'll play the winner of Sigmund or Flipkins in the second round. Then you've got Krajikova versus Loeb. Winner of that's going to play Travassen or the number 13 seed, Putin Seva. So that's a fun little matchup there in the first round. Then you've got the number nine seed, Sakari versus Potapova. The winner of that's going to play either Coco Goff or Norwegian player. Player, Ikira. Second round match, we could get Sakari versus Goff. That is a great second round match to start off our 2020 season. Then you've got Sansonovic versus a qualifier. The winner of that's going to play another great first round match. Mladenovic versus the number five seed, Muguruza. Tough start for Muguruza. And not to mention, she's also in the same quarter as Sophia Kennan. So if we get to the quarterfinals, we could see a replay of the Australian Open final of 2020. All right, so the second quarter of the draw, we have Sabalenka, the number four seed, versus Hercog in the first round. Winner of that's going to play either Tomjanovic or Zhu. Then we've got a qualifier versus Wang. The winner of that's going to play either Pavlichenkova or the number 15 seed, Jabor, who I think is going to be a sneaky chance to win this. Watch out for her. Then we've got Muchova, the number 12 seed, versus Kovinic. Winner of that's going to play either Kazakina or Wang. Then we've got Rus versus Wang. The the winner of that's going to play either a qualifier or the number six seed, Rybakina, who I've picked for 2021 to have a big season and one of the players to watch out for. So there could be a big matchup, a big serving matchup in the quarterfinals if we get Sabalenka versus Rybakina, the four versus the number six. All right, so the third quarter of the draw, we have the number eight seed, Vondrasova versus Sai in the first round. The winner of that's going to play either Kozyak or a qualifier. Then you've got the Canadian, who I've never heard of before, Fernandez versus Paulini. The winner of that's going to play either Zidensek or the number 11 seed, Brady, who a lot of you picked as a sneaky chance to win this and one to watch out for in this tournament. So we'll keep an eye on her. Of course, the US Open semifinals of 2020. Then you've got the 16th seed, Vekic versus Pera. The winner of that's going to play either Tormo or Podoroska, who, remember, made the semifinals of the French Open in 2020. So watch out for her name in 2021. We'll see if she can back up that result. Then you've got Barthel versus a qualifier. The winner of that's going to play either Kostea or the number three seed, Karolina Pliskova, who I picked to win the US Open this year. So we'll keep an eye on her. She's got a new coach. We'll see how that relationship is working out early in the season with this tournament. All right, let's go to the final section of the draw. So you've got the number seven seed, Mertens, versus Cornet in the first round. The winner of that's going to play either Sevastova or Bedosa. So that's going to be interesting to see how Mertens can do. Then you've got a qualifier versus Svedova. The winner of that's going to play either Kudamatova or the number 10 seed, Kontovit. Then you've got the number 17 seed, Alexandrova versus Diaz in the first round. The winner of that's going to play either Ferro or Zvonareva. Now, Zvonareva might be a familiar name. She played really well at Wimbledon a few times almost a decade ago. Then you've got a qualifier versus Watson. The winner of that's going to play either Pagula or the number two seed, Svetolina, who played pretty well in 2020 considering the small tournament or the small schedule. She played really well and she won a lot of tournaments, I think two or three. So look out for her. She is looking to do big things in 2021, but she's going to have to get through Mertens in her quarter of the draw. But there you have it. You have Kennan up the top, Svetolina down the bottom, and a lot of good players in between. Let me know down in the comments below who's your prediction to win this. WTA, very unpredictable, very hard to pick. I'm going with Kennan, but very tentatively. I'm not 100% sure, but let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one. And there you have it, the first draw preview of 2021. It's in the books. We're going to be watching these matches during the week.